Welcome to another episode of What's the Scoop presented by Perry's Ice Cream, Maddie Glab, alongside of our tight end, Dawson Knox, with 40 questions to get to know you. We already know you, but we want to we wanna dig deeper here. So right. describe the feeling of being in your fifth NFL season. Oh, it feels like my rookie year was just months ago. It's gone by very fast. I feel like it was forever ago, but at the same time, it was just a handful of years ago. You're but. starting to reach like Lee Smith, and you're, you're, oh, still, God, you're still a few years that away from me. that, Dawson Knox. Don't do but that soon to enough, me. these young guys are going to be like, good old Dawson Knox. Lee Smith status. <laughs> JK, Thanks JK. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're still young. What's the best part about being in the tight ends room? Oh, the guys are just amazing. Um, I feel like everyone just has very unselfish, down to earth. Great hanging out with those guys outside of football, too. Big Rob Boris fans over here. Huge Rob Boris fans. We love him. Uh, how frequently do you and Dalton get confused? I mean, there's guys that I've known for five years now that'll I mean, Sean accidentally. Sean did it in a press conference the other day. He's he like, did. Dawson, I mean, Dalton, I mean, Dawson. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to mess with him about that. <laughs> Any good nicknames for you two yet, or are we still pulling the crowd? I've seen some awesome uh, Donkey Kong brothers stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, DK like. Hey, bros. If you weren't a tight end, what position would you play in the NFL? I've always wanted to test or try my hand at pass rushing. I've been an edge rusher. Just put me in on third and long and I mean, just you're pretty big. be able to get after a quarterback. I, I would like to see fun. you and Josh Allen do that. Show me like one five or six together. snaps. Me and Josh Play, play both edge. sides of the field. It's yeah. no big deal. Tight end quarterback, you guys. Um, we know you're involved with Punt. It's an organization that helps families that are involved with childhood cancer. What has that organization meant to you and how has it changed your life since being a part of it? The Punt Foundation has been absolutely incredible. Um, I've been very blessed to be working with them since my rookie year. For those of you that don't know, the Punt Foundation um, really helps out families that have kids with cancer. Um, and there's truly no better place you can give your money um, if you want to donate to a good cause because they help these families afford everything from their lighting bill to even parking at the hospital to affording their next meal. Um, so it truly has been a blessing. I'm very thankful for being able to work with them. How would you describe your game day style? <laughs> Comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> um, but when you want to put it on, when you want to dress it up. Love putting on a good bureau suit, even if I was just even if I was just feeling fancy, you know, mm -hmm. throwing a nice suit, but. So we've transitioned to comfy. What's your favorite pair of shoes or item of clothing that you own? Some of my basic white dunks. Go with everything. Can't go wrong. What's a dream vacation for you? It's gotta be Italy. It's gotta be number one on my list right now. Um, see like Como, gotta go to Rome, see the Coliseum. You're from Tennessee, so when people are visiting Nashville, what's what's the thing that you recommend most? <laughs> I've got an endless list of things I can <laughs> recommend based on what they want. But if I was, if you just want a nice steakhouse, my go-to recommendation is always bourbon steak. Good to know. Who's the most interesting guy on the team? I think Tim Settle's very interesting. I think Gabe Davis. He's an interesting guy. Would be close to the top of the okay. list. Who's the funniest guy on the team? I think Deontay Hardy is low-key one of Ooh, the funnier guys ever. Sneaky funny. Sneaky funny because he doesn't say much. Yeah. Who is the nicest guy on the team? It's got to be Reed. It's got to be Reed. Mr. Nice Guy. Okay, Mr. Nice Guy. Gotta, yep. he's got, that's his brand, right? That's his, that's his brand. Yeah. Do you have a hidden talent? I used to play soccer for a very, very long time. Okay. Your bio says that one of your favorite shows is The Office. Do you have a favorite episode or character? Favorite character has to be Dwight. Mm -hmm. um, fun fact, Dwight's the only character that's in every single episode of The Office. Whoa. Season one, the basketball episode, that is one. absolutely amazing. <laughs> that one's really for good. Reasons. That one's yeah. hilarious. What's your favorite cartoon or show when you were growing up? <laughs> I loved Hannah Montana. <laughs> Great show, you Wizards of Waverly best. Place. Yes, of both of worlds. Course. Yeah, I was a big Disney Channel. Weren't we uh, all, weren't yeah. we all? What's one job outside of sports you think you'd be really good at? Ooh, been very interested in real estate and investment. So I think kind of combining the finance with some type of real estate, I think would be kind of cool. Growing that money? Yeah, I see where your head's They're at. very frugal. Duh. Um, what is one meal that you could eat every day for the rest of your life? Sushi. What's one food you can't stand? I just don't like olives. 
Like, I don't mind them, but like, if they're on my pizza, I'll pick them off. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you've eaten? Way back in middle school, high, or not high school, probably elementary school, I think I lost something and had to drink a blended sandwich. Ew. Yeah, with mustard and... Ooh, no thanks. Uh, what's your best Bill's Mafia story? Forgot exactly after which game it was, but it was like 3 a.m. We're getting back from a road game. We had just clinched the division. I think it was like negative eight degrees outside, snow everywhere, and the airport was absolutely packed with Bills fans. <laughs> it took us forever just to get out of the parking lot because it was so packed with everyone going nuts. What's the weirdest hobby you have or have had? Recently, so I got a dog. I have a Rhodesian <laughs> Ridgeback. I bought a laser pointer and he loves chasing the laser <laughs> all over the yard and we'll do it till he collapses. So recently I've been grabbing a laser pointer. My dog's like a cat and he'll just chase the laser. So I guess that's yeah. not very normal. But Dawson and lasers and dogs just goes together. It's a great combo. <laughs> What's your perfect off day? Probably coming in to get my massage. Got to get a little sauna, a little cold tub, just make sure the body's feeling good. And then going home and just chilling the rest of the day, I think. Who's the most famous person in your phone? Got Johnny Manziel in there. Nice. Um, Josh Allen would be close yeah. to the top. Yep. I was wondering if there are any country artists in there since. Oh, Hardy. Okay. I don't know if everyone knows Hardy, but Hardy's know. awesome. Okay. Um, Look Hardy up. If you could trade lives with somebody, who would it be and why? You know, I think to be a professional golfer would be pretty amazing. If you had a time machine, where would you go back to and why? I'd have to go back to the time Jesus was walking around. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Sleep is an absolute necessity for me, so I try to get my eight hours every night. Does that and I mean... know for a fact I'm not a morning person. Okay. What's your favorite season? Fall. You pumpkin spice guy? <laughs> I've never <laughs> tried a pumpkin spice far? latte. I actually have it. tried a pumpkin spice cold brew. It was great. What about flannels? Got to throw on a flannel, some jeans. Top three artists of all time. You could do Michael top Jackson's got to be up okay. there. Sam Cooke. Honestly, Drake. Wow. What he's been doing for so long. That's a it's variety impressive. of three. What's your favorite video game? Are you a gamer? I loved Fortnite for a long time. Probably Fortnite. If you had no financial advisor and you could spend your money however you saw fit, what's the first thing that you would buy that would be totally irresponsible? Probably get the Raptor R truck. If you could be in a TV show, what TV show would it be? Either The Office or Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones would be epic to be in. If somebody made a movie of your life, would it be action, drama, comedy, rom-com, sci-fi? <laughs> That's gotta be a good mix of all those. There's okay. been some funny moments, some dramatic moments, some scary moments. How long do you think you could go without your phone? I hate the attachment that I have to have to my phone all the time. I could ditch that thing if, it, if I could still go on a normal daily schedule. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. It says something about you if you believe that this tiny rock is the only planet in the entire universe that has life. Come on. What was your favorite Halloween costume growing up? Darth Vader. Big Star Wars fan. Yeah, big Star Wars guy. Um, favorite Star Wars movie? Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Okay. What's your favorite smell? Honestly, the ocean. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Love salted caramel. Mm. It's great. Last question, who would you share your ice cream with? Gotta be my girlfriend. Aww, Aww. so yeah. this is for you. And then give the rest of my dog, so. Okay, Dawson, thanks for sitting down with us. That was another episode of What's the Scoop presented by Perry's Ice Cream.